Okay, what's up, people? What you making a U-turn for? Wait a minute, y'all know I got to represent now. So, it's almost a... It's almost shackle day. Y'all know that's what I call the fool. I don't, I don't really, I don't celebrate that mess. Anyway, um, so I got a mail call to do. I put on some Avon, uh, skin so sorry. Uh, bug repeller. If I go to bat and I swing it, y'all know it ain't working. So, first of all, my girl, Color Rockout. Y'all go check out her channel. She sent me this. This is orange. Orange ginger. That she sent me. She sent me that. And she sent me a bunch of, uh, a bunch of seeds. So, she sent me Child, I can't pronounce this. Tom Tomorokoshi? Japanese holeless. Now, it kind of look like corn. That's what it like to me. It's obviously some kind of grain. I've never heard of it, but it will get grown. Um, she sent me Chinese Kaleen broccoli. Oh, I've never grown that before. Okay, the flies is around me. But I ain't seen no mosquitoes yet. Capero? Never heard of that a day in my life. That's what the seeds look like. She sent me some jicama. Some more jicama. Y'all know Dan sent me some jicama. And I got that growing in the back. And I need to plant it where it need to go. I bet you this is bitter melon. Yeah, I know what the seeds look like on that. I have some bitter melon. She sent me some um, yellow crookneck squash. I'm going to try to grow that again. She sent me some... She sent me some watermelon ultra cool hybrid. Never grown that one. It looks to be a small watermelon like an ice box. A pollinizer is required. We recommend Sugar Baby. It produces 14 to 16 pound dark green striped watermelons. They're sweet, crisp, and best of all, seedless. Okay. So I'm going to give those a go. I, I got melons planted now, but those will probably be get. My melons, they may get planted in the fall. It depends on how the weather be looking. Kajari melon, I have some Kajari melon seeds, but I think mine are old. So I'm glad to get some more of those. Salsify, I've always wanted to grow um, salsify. Um, I've never grown it, but it's, it's an interesting crop. Um, ooh, these are baby bubba okra. So I guess these are supposed to stay small and do a bunch of branching. You live to get planted now, cause I got some space. Okay, let me see. I believe that's a little note or something. Uh oh, Omega Sci-Fi passing by. Atomic Dog. Next time you come through, I'm gonna have that plan. I'm gonna see if you jump out that truck and start stepping. Let me see. Plantain. I've always wanted to grow plantain. That's a pretty good herb to grow. Not plantain like the banana plantain. Plantain, the herb plantain. Silky sweet turnip. I've never grown those particular turnips. I've never even heard of those particular turnips. French sorrel. Okay. I'm trying to think, is that the same as the regular green? No, I think French sorrel is actually different than what I have grown. It's some kind of radish. Watermelon radish. I looked at the seeds and knew what that was. This is, oh, I got some mullen. If y'all don't know what mullen is, y'all go check out Garden Lady 1955, who I wish would make some more videos. Her grandkids, her son, somebody needs to help her make some more videos on herbs at the least if she don't make videos on nothing else real talk her can of video is the best on youtube and she only got like two or three of them i know these people rave about other people i'm not saying their videos are bad i'm saying her videos are better why are her videos better because i can tell she actually knows what she's doing like she actually knows how it works like for instance when you um when you press your cannon and water bath cannon, you do not have to fill that cannon all the way to the top. My granny never did that. And I was wondering why I kept seeing people doing that. Like, why y'all think y'all need to do that? You pretty much just need water at the bottom so that they not... You, I mean, pretty much what I'm saying is them cans ain't got to be covered. Um, my granny never covered her stuff. I never understood why people... I realized that that cannon book say that. But when my granny learned how to can, my granny was born in 1929. 28? 1928. When she learned how to can, Ball didn't have no canning book. So what that tell you? 
You and, and black people ain't black people back then. That was that, that was at the, right at the beginning of the depression. Do y'all really think they was buying books? They ain't had no money to buy no books. They was out here. I mean, yeah, you had some rich black people, but my granny wasn't one of them. So what I'm saying is, they learned how to can without. Forgive me for saying this. The white people telling them how to can, cause that's who owned ball. Ball ain't never been owned by no black folks. So, yeah, no, nah, I go with the elders that was been canning since before that book came out. Like I said, Garden Lady 1955, when I seen her can, I said, oh, sister girl know what she doing. Sister girl know what she doing. You can tell some elders taught her this. But, um, let me see what else I got going on. Oh, let me show y'all this. Can y'all see this cactus right here? So... Josh sent me, I got a subscriber named Josh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's some oak. Oh no, it's some oak seeds in here. Oh, Mexican sunflower. Yeah, that's uh she sent me a little note. Yeah, since she mentioned Garden Lady 1955 and, and she does, she has some Mexican. I had those before y'all. And um Color Rock out, thank you for sending me the Mexican sunflowers sunflowers because mine the ice got them and they i thought they was gonna come back i don't think they're gonna come back so i'm going to plant them again and i didn't have any seeds so now i can plant those and um and i'll have mexican sunflower again mexican sunflower is probably one of the because it's so versatile you can do chop and drop they get gorgeous flowers on them but like i said they serve more than one purpose so you don't just have to have the flowers you can do chop and drop with those the leaves of those are have just as much nitrogen if not more than chicken manure so if you don't if you can't have chickens or something y'all grow some mexican sunflower the scientific name is diversifolia no tithonia diversifolia tithonia diversifolia that's the scientific name if you want to look it up but mexican sunflower goes by that and a couple of other things so i had that male car but then i also had uh maureen the same one i did a male call for previously she had emailed me and said she had sent me out some seeds and I finally got them. So she sent me some mo seeds. And so she sent me golden dragon fruit seeds. And those dragon fruits, back to the dragon fruits that I just showed y'all that Josh sent me. Those dragon fruits are yellow on the outside with the white flesh, if I'm not mistaken. And he told me he said they were very sweet. She sent me longhorn okra. I tried to grow those a long time ago and I killed them. It wasn't because of the okra, it was because of me. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to grow those again. Um, then watermelon radish. Okay, her and color rock out must be friends. Uh, caramel spinach. Never heard of that. Caramel spinach. I've never heard of that. So I will grow that in the fall. I can't grow that in the summer, y'all. It's too hot for spinach here. That spinach will bolt on you. Um. She said she got she got her stuff. Um, and then this says open. So let me open this and see what this is. Oh, y'all excuse me. I'm trying to open this with one hand. I'm a one-handed bandit right now. And I got y'all going every which way. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Shooky, shooky. Okay. I ain't gonna tell y'all what was in there. And no, it was not illegal. Cause I know how some y'all are. I don't drink or smoke. I unlike these other people on YouTube doing illegal stuff. Um, I don't, I don't, you know, self-incrimination. You know, y'all gonna get enough of doing stuff on the internet where if y'all think the feds ain't following y'all, y'all look at them January 6th insurgents. How you think they found them? Internet. The internet, the internet got them all messed up. Internet and their phones. So while y'all talking about that vaccine got a tracker in it, I got news. Your phone got a tracker and been tracking you. And you ain't going to turn that phone off so they're going to continue to track you. So y'all quit with that foolishness. You know, these conspiracy theories, y'all believe in too much stuff. Um, But yeah, I think that's about it, y'all, for the mail call. Let me see, did anybody else send me anything I need to mention? I mentioned the dragon fruit. Thank you, Josh. I can't remember his last, the, you know, I know his emo, his, uh, his picture is a, I think that's a picture of him like fishing or something. But, um, but I got your mulberries on the way, bro. Your mulberries. And I'm not going to send you cuttings. I have mulberries that are already rooted. 
I believe that's what I'm going to send you. I'm going to send you stuff that's already rooted. Um, so, yeah. Maureen, appreciate you. Um, got the seeds. If you ever need anything, you know to holler at me. Um, to color rock out. Girl, I got some stuff I got to send you because it's other stuff that we talked about that I was going to send you already. Um, so, but you know, we be talking, so we keep up with each other. But, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So, until next time, see you guys later.